one in eight women will develop breast cancer. But the question is, who's going to get it and when? With the answer to that question, we can offer each patient the right test at the right time, achieving earlier detection while reducing overtreatment for those who don't need it. Predicting who's going to get cancer in the future is a core focus of our paper. We, want, we need a system that can take an image like this and predict if and when it will develop cancer. This tool must be accurate and must be equitable. It must perform consistently across the diverse populations and clinical settings that we intend to serve. This goal motivated Mirai, our mammography-based model for predicting breast cancer risk. Mirai was designed to predict risk at multiple time points, leverage optional risk factors if they're available, and to produce predictions that are consistent across mammography machines. We trained the model on a large data set from Massachusetts General Hospital and tested it in held up populations from Mass General, Karolinska in Sweden, and Chang'e Memorial in Taiwan. And across all three data sets, we found that the model significantly outperformed all prior methods. We also found that Murak performed consistently and similarly well across different races, ages, breast density categories, and different cancer subtypes. This kind of detailed international validation is critical to make sure the model is robust and doesn't create or perpetuate any disparities. This is especially important given that some patient populations, like African American women, already suffer from increased breast cancer mortality. African American women continue to present with breast cancer at younger ages and often at later stages. This, coupled with the higher incidence of triple negative breast cancer in this group, has resulted in increased breast cancer mortality for African American women. The need to address this health disparity is apparent. This study demonstrates the development of a risk model whose prediction has notable accuracy across race. The opportunity for its use clinically is high. We're also excited to be partnering with new clinical institutions like Emory University to further validate the model and help bring it to clinical care. And so we're partnering uh, to predominantly study uh, the Mirai model on our population, which has a good representation of African American patients. And you can imagine, you can imagine that you know you've heard that these AI systems, you know, can cause harm, especially when we look at how they are used for policing and assigning credit scores. So we're both excited and humbled to ask this question: Does it work for our population? And commit to extensively study this question and including how to detect failure.